Now, just in case that uh, Bruce Pagan test wasn't enough, we can double check with the abridged whites test, which is pretty similar. All we need to do now is take our actual prediction for purchased bike, stick that back in the data. So let me uh, command shift down. Actually, no, first I need to make my variable. So I'm going to come back here and uh, let's see, right here, I'll insert. I'm actually going to insert a couple. I'm going to call this our prediction and our prediction squared. And I grab the, uh, here we go, the prediction. Command shift down, copy. Uh, let's paste that here. Predicted purchase bike numeric. And then uh, right here equals this guy squared. There we go. So what we're going to do next. So now we need to run one more regression. Data analysis regression. We're still going to keep uh, the residual squared as our dependent variable. But we're going to change the input variables to the prediction and the prediction squared. All right. Uh, output range. Let's move it over a little bit. Get a new spot. Put it right here-ish. Okay. Once again, all we're looking for right here is the significance. So now we have, let's home uh, number. Oh, whoops. Let me redo that real quick. So this one, unlike the other, is highly significant. Look at that. So the null hypothesis here is, is that there's homoscedasticity, there's no variance. This says, yes, there is some variance. So we've got two different tests telling us two different things. Well, we better see what we can do about fixing it. We'll do that in the next video.